Ricardo, I'm confused. MongoDB is a non-relational database. That means you can't store relationships in MongoDB, right? Well, Jesse, that's a little confusing, isn't it? But you actually can store relationships in MongoDB, even very complicated relationships. They are just stored differently than you are used to in a relational database. Instead of non-relational, think of MongoDB as non-tabular. We even have a tool to help you modernize your applications by migrating from old relational database to MongoDB. It's called Relational Migrator. Interesting. Well, which databases can it migrate from? You can use it with PostgreSQL, MySQL, Oracle, and several others. It's pretty flexible. Hmm. That seems too good to be true. What about data migrations, stored procedures, schema modeling? I mean, MongoDB is schemaless. Well, not exactly. MongoDB has a flexible schema, but you can define a schema and make it as rich as you would like. It's up to you. With Relation Migrator, you can migrate data, including start procedure, and even help model your schema with a user-friendly interface. And it's not too good to be true. It's a super tool, but it still relies on the expertise of architects and MongoDB specialists to guide the migration process effectively. I got it. So it's more of an advanced tool for those who already know what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. But it's not hard to learn. Let me tell you a little more about why you should use Relation Migrated to create our applications, okay? Okay, okay. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Hey, welcome back. I'm Ricardo Mello, Senior Developer Advocate over here at MongoDB. And today we're going to talk about Relational Migrator. But before we dive into the tool itself, let's take a step back and understand some important concepts that set MongoDB apart from the traditional relations database. One key concept is scalability, which refers to the ability of a database to handle more data and traffic without losing performance. Well, traditional relational database typically scale vertically. Okay, but what does this mean? It means they require more powerful hardware, such as CPU, RAM, and storage, as demand grows. However, this approach has some limitations. For example, there are always a physical cap on how much a single machine can handle, making upgrade expensive and sometimes impractical. MongoDB, on the other hand, is built for horizontal scaling using a technique called sharding. So instead of relying on a single powerful machine, MongoDB distributes data across multiple servers, known as shards. Each shard stores part of the data, and if more capacity is needed, just add more servers. This ensures high availability, keeping the system operational, even if some shards fail. And, of course, there is flexibility. MongoDB is built for flexible data. Unlike relational databases with rich tables in predefined columns, MongoDB uses documents structured like JSON object. Each document can store data in any format, such as string, double, date, and even no object. And different documents in the same collection don't need to have the same field. So, for example, if we want to add a new field, address, to the document reference code 2, we can simply update it without needing to modify other documents. Now that we've covered the advantages of MongoDB, the question is, why is migration to MongoDB so important? What benefits can a migration offer? Well, to answer this question, let's talk about the challenges of legacy relation systems. First, they are often necessarily complex with rigid schemas, database level code, and complicated application logic. This makes them hard to modify, difficult to scale, and honestly, no fun for anyone involved, right? Migrating to MongoDB gives you a modern experience, agile development, and real scalability. Well, with its flexible schema, building scalability, and high availability, MongoDB lets you handle growing workloads, adapt quickly to new requirements, and scale easily without the limitations of traditional databases. Okay, I know you are already convinced to use MongoDB, but you are wondering, how do I bring my relational data into MongoDB? What are the common challenges, right? The first challenge is to answer the question, how do I start? What modules should I migrate first? A typical company has hundreds of applications. Think of a system with a customer management module and a sales module. Which should I migrate first? This is a common question that challenges us during the migration process. Next, we need to understand what a modern schema is. How should I model my data in this modern era? 
With this answer in hand, we arrive at how do I put my data into the new schema? How will the data be transformed and converted into NoSQL, considering performance and security? And last but not least, what happens to my application code, that old code? How do I transform and adapt it to work with MongoDB? And that's where the relational migrator comes in, a tool designed to help you migrate your relational workloads to MongoDB. With relational migrator, the migration process becomes simple and well-defined, following four key steps. First, connect to your relational database and analyze its schemas. This gives you a solid starting point without the need for a manual effort. Next, create an optimized MongoDB schema based on your existing relational model. Once the scheme is ready, transfer your data from Oracle, PostgreSQL, MySQL to MongoDB, minimizing risks and downtime. And finally, take your migration step further by automatically generating application code and converting SQL queries. And it's important to keep in mind that Relation Migrator is not a magic solution that will instantly modernize your applications, meaning it requires careful planning and doesn't automatically fix everything. Also, MongoDB Relation Migrator is not a replacement for the expertise of Arctat and MongoDB specialists, so it still requires skilled professionals to guide and oversee the migration process. And finally, it's not capable of solving every migration challenge today, meaning some complexity may still need custom solutions and adjustments during the migration. But it is a set of tools designed to improve productivity and reduce risks in migration projects. Migrator is built for experienced architects. This means designed for professionals who understand the complexities of database migration and can leverage the tool effectively. And finally, it's continuously involved based on feedbacks and results. This means it's always improved with new features and updates driven by user feedback and real-world experience. Great, now that we've learned a bit more about Relational Migrator, it's time to move on to the practical part. In the next video, we'll walk you through migrating a relational workload to MongoDB. So stay tuned and see you soon.